Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Legends of Redwall. Um, uh, before we start, I would like to make a quick announcement uh, really quickly. Um, I know everyone out there probably thinks it's called the Legend of Redwall, but it's actually Legends of Redwall because Porio has misspelled it. Um, I don't know. There's common mess. misconception. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. now there isn't. Yes, there uh, but is. anyway, a legend of Redwall, indie, 16 through 17. Oh, what? I see an S on my layout. None of them have an S. <laughs> anyway, that's not important. Anyway, <gasps> um, uh, sorry, my grammar Nazi came out. Um, last time we left our heroes, um, uh, we had a funeral for Brother Methuselah, who sadly passed away fighting the good fight trying to save the Dibbins from the evil of Tease Thief and Kilcooney, who um, betrayed Looney the Scourge. Uh, Kilcooney was left behind by Tease Thief, who was quickly captured, and his limbs were very quickly <laughs> decapitated by a very angry Bun Bun. Um, tragically, one of the, uh, a couple of Dibbons uh, sustained very serious injuries and one was not breathing. Uh, thanks to the quick acts of Vince, she was able to come back to the land of the living. There was a lovely funeral for Brother Methuselah where I attempted to write a song, but I am a terrible songwriter, so pretty much none of it actually fucking rhymed. I was attempting to make it more akin to the actual red wall, but unfortunately, I'm not that skilled at that kind of thing. So, anywho, last time we left off, you guys were enjoying some... Enjoying the last few minutes of the funeral of what happened and uh, seeing the spirit of Brother Methuselah being carried into the afterlife by none other than the protector of Redwall, um, Martin the Warrior, much younger version of Brother Methuselah, and he left you all presents of varying qualities. So, woodland creatures, as the fires start to die down and there's little to no part of the pyre left, you see that there is, of course, n pretty much nothing left of the corpse itself. It was a pretty amazing fire to display. Um, and as the last bit of the fire dies down, uh, you all hear a rumbling overhead as snow starts to fall upon Redwall Abbey, signifying, as if to signify, the end of a life. Um, this funeral took place, I would say, almost akin to nighttime, almost, if I remember correctly. Did I really say, like, a time of day? I actually forget. Um, it was definitely evening time, because the only person who was awake was the person who actually slept through the night. Yeah, I spent through the whole day just so meandering. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's evening again. Okay, well... As the evening settles and you see the sun start to sink beneath the intense red glow of the Redwall Abbey walls oh, uh, the as it starts to shine against the red walls, uh, the walls grow even brighter with the sunlight. Um, and as the snow continues to fall, you guys, uh, what are you doing? Uh, give me a Hmm. Um, may I go first? Yep. So after the funeral, it, it's um basically sunset, right? You said it is setting, so technically yes. Well, I'm gonna um to the bell tower. Uh, Joseph's bell, right? Uh, you're cutting bell. out like crazy, so I can barely understand you. What's the name of the bell? Because I'm planning on going up to the bell tower. Uh, She's going to the bell tower. Yeah, I said, uh-huh, what else oh. are you doing up there? Um, I'm going to play the new flute that uh, Rio gave me. Or not Rio, but Sunflower. Okay. I'm just going to play a, a calm melody. Give me a performance check. I forgot to open up my... Oh, uh, God. Um, Mother of Martin, please don't do this to me. Okay, okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> I'm forcing you to roll. Oh. <laughs> 
Goddamn rice is all over my fingers. Okay, I'll do it for you. The rice fields, motherfucker. My phone's not responding. What the hell? Has it been long enough for us to curse? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not Kit Friendly show. Yeah. No, I know there's kids are. Uh, you're not supposed yeah. to curse. <laughs> no. <laughs> as long as it's not a kid friendly video, you can curse all yeah, you want. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> I'm not gonna and do it's it. stated uh, as Sunfl uh, as Rio has very smartly done. There are very intense graphical descriptions that happen, so it is very much not a. Yeah, sadly, I could not put the disclaimer on the one video that had the torture because it never. But the one video with the torture didn't make it. Yeah. No. Twitch was like, nope. Those poor children. I wanted to say something, but I'm gonna hold my tongue. <laughs> oh, you think you think you think these sessions are gonna be graphic? <laughs> you think Overlord is graphic? <laughs> Just wait until my pirate campaign launches. I don't I don't even like your Yo. Uh, it's a good idea. It's just holy shit. Uh, you got to be careful with it, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we said, list. we make mm -hmm. an announcement oh, before every session. Did I do it? There you go. <sighs> Oof. Was it bad? Uh, you kind of already rolled, so it's an. I'm it was sorry. You rolled a two. Fuck. <laughs> Other than a natural one. one. Um, so you are, you're, tr you're trying to figure this bizarre flute out. Um, it's hard to get accustomed to, especially since it's made out of metal. You're accustomed to more like made of wood instruments or things that are necess not necessarily entirely made of, you know, fucking metal. Made out of metal? Um, you're just singing a very relaxing tune. You're trying your best and you just spend your time doing that. All right. Uh, got, how long? Uh, how, how how long do you it. spend up there, Apollos? Um, about a good hour before you know before dinner. What'd she say? Supper. An hour before dinner. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead. Um, hey, uh, hey, Vince. You you're still around, right? You didn't go off anywhere, right? Well, Vince, you actually see Vince. I am still saluting the pyre. My character right. is staying there until the all the ash is gone. Uh, or yeah. not. Uh, until the ash goes out, basically. All right. I uh, walk up towards you and uh, whisper, hey, 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 Fox. Yes. You saw that, right? Yes. The ghost. Yes. Good. I'm not going crazy. Uh, uh, and I get a perception from only ghost. <laughs> only ghost. <laughs> only me. Oh, oh, dear. Uh, you, you are too much paying attention to what what he's doing uh to actually see this sunflower what are you doing i am trying to get my browser to work so give me a moment <laughs> okay uh vince the last embers finally die out and there's little to nothing left of the former pyre my character uh, goes to attention and my character goes to a scholar to a warrior to a hero so my character goes you are now given the title of defender of the eh, defender of the Divins. Defender of the Divins. My character then walks off. Uh, Vince, while you were standing out there in the snow, you have a little pile of snow on top of your head. Well, it gets knocked off as I move. <laughs> but my character basically gave a title to the, to the, uh, to Brother Methuselah. Yep. And it was <laughs> the Divins. Uh, Vince, and I get a perception check from you. Perception check? Yes. Not only perceptive, but here we go. Let's hope you just don't get a natural one because oh, I can well only <laughs> I can only roll so many one d hundreds. Okay, eleven. Uh, Vince, as you are going about to go back inside, you see what looks to be a chicken head around a around the left hand side of the Red Wall Abbey corner, a staring down ghost. Or you, at least you assume he's staring. I go, I think that chicken doesn't trust you. <laughs> As I walk away. Chicken? You turn your head and you just see the chicken that has been following you. It's just currently staring you down. Or at least you assume he is. So I look at him for just a second. And I look over towards the uh, door to the uh, dining hall. Is it open? It's popped open now. Yeah. Take one last glance of the chicken. Uh, you, uh, okay, so the, the second up. you look back to uh, towards, okay, towards so the chicken, the one second it's you gone. Russ, run, run, run. <laughs> I run. <laughs> you you run hall. inside. <laughs> you, you go into the dining hall. You look back over your shoulder and panic. There's nothing there. You see Vince walk in. He's like just looking at you. 
the fuck? <laughs> Do you don't look at me like that. You don't understand. I don't. <laughs> you take one quick glance back behind your shoulder. You just see uh, the chicken bugger. head just peek its head no. corner. There it is again. See it? See it? <laughs> And uh, Mike, you turn around, is nothing's there. Me? He's pointing at nothing, and then he turns turns to like look where you're looking. Nothing's there. Like I said, I think he likes you or something. And <laughs> just continues moving. Like he's going to get some food. <laughs> I don't why. By the by the by the way, Nugget is cur- acting. I think poor Ghost is going to go absolutely bonkers by the end of this campaign. Chickens are everywhere, man. Well, was a cursed. Place. Chickens are. Maybe for you. <laughs> well, back to the story. Um, as we continue on, uh, after the um, incident with the chicken, uh, ghost or ghost is call, uh, tries to get some dinner. You sit down at a table and like bowls are provided and a little whistle goes off in the kitchen. And you see Friar Hugo. Uh, his bandage on his midsection is now completely off. And you say, Well, now that I'm feeling 100% better, I would like to provide you with a feast of epic proportions. And he, uh, like, bows out of the way, revealing a ginormous fucking cake. It is at least... In layers, stacked on one top of the other. It has meadow cream. It has just oozing off of it. All sorts of mixed berries on top of it as well. And it seems to, like, the parts where the where the cake is, like, not, like, coated. You can see something a little purplish in color oozing from the inside one part of the cake and next comes out giant bowl of something that I completely forgot was in Redwall potatoes of the mashed variety. And even as it passes by you, you can smell a strong sense of garlic in these potatoes. No, the best kind of mashed potatoes, garlic. Anyway, then just another uh, plate upon plates. This mouse went all out. There is even the strong scent, scent, something that hits your nose. Since you haven't had this in a while, not since you were a kid. Ooh. Candied nuts. Oh, yeah. Give me them nuts. You had that since you were a kid? Oh, oh dear. No, uh, well, well, you well live uh, on the unfortunately. Okay, Vince, you had a good yeah, childhood. Yeah. Un- and unfortunately, with candy, unfortunately with candy nuts in this world, it is incredibly hard to make, and there's usually a limited supply. So when it does come around, people love it, and they see the bowl of giant bowl of candied nuts, and they're like, oh, "There's candied nuts!" And use and, and, and like sunflower, you see it as well. You see cashews and see almonds. You see all sorts of like. Nuts. And you see something in there as well. It looks out of place. It looks like dried berry. I just invented trail mix in this world. And I just <laughs> didn't realize that until I just fucking said that. Sure do, Which I do don't mind. Because <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Yeah, it does kind of make sense. I just didn't realize that I just invented trail mix without realizing it. Anyway, <laughs> as the feast begins, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry, is Apollos here? Am, am I here? Yes, everyone okay. is at Din Din. Din Din. Everybody digs in, and the, the meal is going on for at least an hour. When all of a sudden, the doors are blown open by force, by the wind. I, There's a blizzard happening outside currently. I go to I go to up and try to close the door. Okay. I go to help. Uh, I need one of you to make a strength check, but uh, if you want to each make a strength check, or one of you makes a strength check with advantage because one of you is helping. A polish. Yeah, use People's bardic school. inspiration to do that. So who's stronger? I got a 14 strength. Let's see. Opalis. She has a 13 strength. On one on one, on one better. Okay. Let's well, strength check. Here we go. I'll make Bam. one too, yeah? Uh, do it with advantage because she's helping you. All right. So I pick. Again? I use the big small number, right? 
Or do I use the word? Oh, 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 uh, oh, you just rolled the same. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to see, just out of curiosity, since you were, uh, just to let you know, Rosie, uh, whenever I give advantage to someone you're helping, you don't need to make a strength check because you're helping them, giving them advantage by helping them with your strength. But I am curious on what you would roll. So in your own time, make a strength check. Um, did I do it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you actually did. It just appeared. That was a natural one. Uh, that's a third natural one. Why am I making natural one? Hour. What the hell is these going one, on? These ones are showing less, up like... You're turning the barrel. Hour. So that's the third 1D100 that I'm being forced Sorry, to make guys. in less than an hour. Sorry, everyone. I'm bad luck. Nah, sometimes it happens. It's fine. Yours really didn't You're count anyhow. First one. Trust me. Vince, as you're closing the door, you hear you hear uh, uh, one of the red wallers say, Wait! Wait! The door's open a little bit longer. Okay. We're getting the rats inside. This is a terrible blizzard. <gasps> okay. You want me to go out and get them? No, no. They're already coming inside. They have already agreed to sacrifice their weapons for now. Hey. Right. Wait. Oh, my anxiety is not good. Is my character just leaning against the door waiting? You see the rats are already piling in, uh, just pouring all their weapons ne uh, inside of the open gatehouse and just continuing to, like, run towards the abbey. They are pouring in. You see, like, the usual suspects of Clooney's uh, men. And last but not least, you do see Clooney come in the double doors, and he's the last one in. All the animals have, like, come inside. As you see, I'm now pushing on the door to close it. <laughs> yeah. You, as you're pushing it shut, the wind is fucking, it is blowing you back like nobody's business. And Opalis is trying her best to like p push it shut with you as well. But you I'm see, a little like, buddy. You see several of the rats like pushing uh, the other door closed and like you just feel a paw right above yours, uh, Vince. Two paws, and then yeah, just you just see the door slam shut finally. <sighs> it's a barricade. You just pff, see the rats just put in the door. Hey, Constance, can you help me get some blankets for these men? Yes, 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 of course. Now you rats, go by the fire. <laughs> As you also see, I'm by the fire now too. <laughs> you, you are, you are freezing. Even though, even though that was only few, like, like uh, only a couple of minutes, like to the elements. This is going to be a horrible storm. Especially since I'm also wearing metal armor too. They made it exactly. a little exactly. That is not helping your situation. You were trying to pry oh, it off, off, and then all of a sudden, a few bits of your fur etch to your metal armor, and it rips off from you. And Ow. It's not bare skin underneath, but a little bit of your fur is now stuck to your frozen chest plate until it thaws. Killing a band-aid. Oh, yeah. And the feast continues. The rats are actually staying out of the feast and eating their own rations. Opala starts feeling bad, so she starts making plates for them. You do that, and uh, you are trying your best with a smile. to to. Oh, you're smiling. You're you're trying to carry all these bowls of hot, steaming lentil soup uh, to the rats. And uh, oh, uh, at one point, uh, uh, you lose your balance trying to avoid all the tails in one area, and you feel a paw just all of a sudden steady your hand. Then you just go on your way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Help yourself to some food, everyone. <laughs> they look tooty. Hey, kids, you need strength. They happily take all of it. They don't care if it's piping hot and steaming. They are downing it like there is no tomorrow. Probably because it's been a while since they had good food. <laughs> Good morale boost, at least. You see Clooney just sit sit in the section by the fire all by himself. God damn you, Justin. What? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I grab um, a slice of the cake and I make my way to Clooney, handing him that big slice of cake. It's like the first time we met, right? Yes. He takes the bowl. He takes the plate, slices the cake in two, produces a, a very... Very, can I get a perception check, please? 
bonus. Uh, okay, give me a oh, sec. Can I, I, roll I know. By the fire oh, too? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Perception, right? Yes, perception. Game over to be a little slippy. Did little they do it? Oh, not yet. And son, pretty decent. They do it. Ten I'm not, is like, not super close, but I'm there. The fire, at least. So it's like I probably know. Yeah. Am I doing it? <laughs> Like, ooh. Uh, no, no, not yet. Um, since you do notice a plate, you don't notice anything special about it, though. Okay. It does look like an odd color for what you assume to be a clay plate. Like, it's off. Did I, I do it? Not yet. <laughs> Darling. Um, Sunflower, you're just minding your own business, watching these rats inside of Redwall Abbey, just minding their own business, not attacking anyone. It's very off-putting. Actually, she's not even there. Oh. She probably snuck some food before they even came in and went up to her la um, area upstairs. Oh, you hear a gentle knock on the door while we're waiting for Opalis to do her perception. This is my Busy. Phone. Dab it, Mortimer. She slowly gets up from her seat and opens up the door. He is holding what looks to be a huge plate of food. May I come in? Uh, sure, but there's not much room in here. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to stay long. I just, I know how it, how you... I know how close you were with other Methuselah. We were all were. And I think he would want you to have his study. I, I, I know. Um, I know. It, it's. I know it's hard. Your time. I am totally fine. Thank you for worrying. He uh, produces somewhere in, from his habit a pristine, clean handkerchief and starts wiping your eyes and offers you to blow your nose. Hey, there's the perception. Nice. Oh, and it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's actually pretty good. good. Yeah, yeah 17, which is very good. I understand. A good last time. It's going to be hard for all of us knowing that he has passed. If you need anything, anything at all, he gently like lays his hand on your shoulder. If you just need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. And your parents as well. Yeah. And don't forget, you have a little big brother that you can go and try. Need to. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you. I'm going to leave my handkerchief with you. Oh, and yeah, to help with the cold. And he then proceeds to uh, produce yet another item from his habit. And it's a fairly thick candle. And then he proceeds to light it. And he's like, there you go. Your water should warm up very nicely. Uh, thank you. He then proceeds to get up. He was like, it is always sad when somebody passes. It is up to us to honor their death. Well, then he proceeds to... Go out of the room and close the door. Here's for a while at the candle and just sits on the table. <coughs> sits at her desk and just not really work, but mostly poke at the leftover poison sack she has and thinks for a moment and tries to tinker, but not really. Okay. He's absentmindedly just, you know, just twisting things. Yeah. I'm guessing. Or All boiling right. things, <coughs> whatever alchemy does. Okay. Paulus, you are able to see this plate for you. And at first it looked like it was made out of clay. But then you take a closer look and that is a very, very old, old, solid gold plate. Of beautiful designs on it. And he just proceeds to take part of the cake, half of it, and then moves it to the gold plate, which is very rusted. Uh, it's very discolored. And then he proceeds to give it to you. Thank you, Queenie. Where, where'd you get this stuff anyways? That was mine a long, long time ago. Back before I was a pirate. Really? What were you before you were a pirate? Okay, this is going to be difficult. Uh, Opalus, I need you to make a charisma check. Ah, Jed! <laughs> this is okay. <sighs> Charisma check. And yes, uh, Opalus, uh, to answer your question, Vince, yes, Opalus, it's a little bit heavy in your paws. That's just a little, probably a whole lot. Huh? Solid gold plate, that's going to be kind of heavy. Oh, no! That's another natural one. What the wow. fuck? <laughs> no, you know what? Fuck this shit! 
Wait, aren't you a lop-eared bunny? Don't you get a thing for charisma? It is my highest proficiency. This is bullshit. No, don't you get like a charm effect or something like that? He's already charmed. Can I get a re-roll? <laughs> I've been rolling three net one so far. Please let me get a re-roll. Well, what does your skill say for charisma for lop-eared? Let's see here. Flirtatious charm. Uh, you have advantage on persuasion and insight checks against creatures that are friendly to you, and you know the friends can't trip. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I would have to say, to be fair, I would have to say this would be considered a persuasion check. So you would have advantage on that, trying to persuade him in order to get more information. So that would be a 17 out of 5. Ooh, lucky. I'm just going off with what she was saying. <laughs> Three nat ones in the same hour. I got four. Well, at least yeah. now it's not a nat one. It's a 17. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thing is broken. That's how the dice lay sometimes. I wasn't originally a pirate. I was from a distant place called Ulbaz. By the way, that's oh. old. This. <laughs> I was up north somewhere. What is it like? Don't oh, say. There it is. Don't say. Uh, you don't say. Mm. Don't say. <laughs> I remember anyway. seeing it on the map, so hush. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like being sarcastic sometimes. <laughs> um... <clears throat> That is where I was born. City choked by its own sins. And a palace reeking of lies. Hello? You good? Also, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about the other voices you hear. Uh-huh. So. Uh. It was a different time. Different place. Well, if you were originally part of this, this kingdom, why did you move away, Mr. Clooney? Shut your yap, you stupid rat! Was it nice? As I lived. It was beautiful. Well, maybe we can visit again sometime. I am not welcome there. Oh, you're always In fact, welcome here at Redwall. Most people think I'm dead. Well, you're always welcome here at Redwall, Clooney. It looks at you. You're too nice for your own good. I've been told. But if I was nice to you, then we wouldn't be friends, right? You're a funny little rabbit. He then proceeds to stand up. Can I get a perception check from Vince, please? Yes. Oh, thank God, it's not me again. And Ghost. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow, they are way oh, too no. much being... Natural 20 on on Ghost's part. What Vince, the... <laughs> uh, Vince, you are way too focused on your on your warm lentil soup. Now you've had your second bowl, you want a third, and you, you're just looking at the steaming. You're starting to warm up. It's wonderful. Oh, uh, yeah. You can, uh, you can feel your tail again. <laughs> All right, so now I know to f to line my uh, old shedded fur into the armor now. <laughs> uh, Ghost, you are actually the only one who rolled high enough to see this. And that's why you see. Uh, you see Looney as he stands up to leave. He, he, he pats Opalus on the head very gently. And he slips something inside of her tunic without her realizing. Hope the white mouse doesn't see that. Oh, I'm not there. Funny enough, he got a natural 20 on his sleight of hand, but his was a 22. Your perception was a 23. So you were bare, uh, you were able to see his sleight of hand. As the hours pass by, Vince, you are nice and full. You are completely warmed up. And everyone is pretty much dozing off because they're nice and... Well, after I get warmed up, I'm going to go see my sister. <clears throat> Okay. A little bit of sunflower. You see the door to her workshop is currently closed. I open it. I knock I first, mind you. I was going yep. to say she was going to chew you out. Um, so um let's role play this out. Go ahead. Doom doom doom. Working. Hey. Hey, this. Still me. not going to wait. Hey, sorry, busy. Trying to make well trying to make poison more poison is really hard. I look around. Do I notice that she gotten anything done within, like, you know, the past few hours? <laughs> since she's just doodling, since she's just messing around. No. Ah. I'd say in your absent-mindedness, Sunflower, to be fair, 
Uh, you somehow actually to make things interesting, and I get uh, what? What were you attempting to make? Poison? I, I get have, an herbalist uh, kit. Yeah, check. I have an herbalist kit, and I still have eighteen poison sacks. And I was trying to make. Give me a check. Poison. I want to, I want to see what you. Okay, what kind of check? Herbalist kit. Okay. Um, herbalist oh, medicine. attributes are medicine. Medicine check. Okay. But since you're proficient in an herbalism Wisdom. kit, I will give you advantage. Wisdom. Got it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, in your absent-mindedness, you weren't even paying attention. You were just trying to get your mind off of the subject of Brother Methuselah. You weren't paying attention to what you were doing. As soon as your brother came in, you, uh, you say, can't you knock? And then you accidentally poured something else into the mixture and you don't know what you just uh, well with your uh can i get a medicine check for what you just made? okay 15 uh huh, huh. oh it's been a long time since i've had to open up this little thing well you don't have too many people in your campaigns that make stuff i have in my hands a book for all crafting things oh <laughs> Oh, you just made something interesting. What the hell is going on? What, what did you do? I don't know. Sunflower, as you're checking this out, you instantly take a cork and put it on top so that it doesn't spill. What you just made is a new type of poison. Oh, no. Known as the three-step poison. Because once you're hit with the three-step poison, you take three steps and you're dead oh uh she blinks and then it is incredibly her her fucking brother dangerous is like, this is why you should knock she says holding up a very shakily a bottle as she, as she sh as her paw is shaking furiously for second vince you could swear that the liquid makes makes a skull or a split second, and then it's gone. It's kind of like that potion that Hades had at the beginning of Hercules. You just see yeah. skulls for a split second, and then it's gone. <laughs> and Vince goes, I did knock, I just barged in after I knocked. That's the difference. Yes, but you should at least wait for an answer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're my sister. You know you should be used to this by now. <laughs> Her ears goes down. It's like, I, we, Oh. <laughs> just to let you know, you have only made enough for one dose. Yeah, one use. Yeah. How many poison sex did that take? Because I know I didn't get that for free, yeah. so. <laughs> Herbalism kit, you had advantage, so 32. And, oh, you were at a higher level. Okay, so 32. So the medicine check was a 15, so that's in section page 46, section B. You don't have any poison sacks left. Okay, I'll just, goodbye. Okay. You just used all of them. It, technic it technically says you use 20 in this, but you got an insanely high roll, so you just use all of them. Okay. She points her eyes. Well, that, there goes my... Uh, I have to get some more supplies. Looks like you were getting, trying to get your mind off something. She sets the thing down and, and wraps it up <laughs> so it won't break. King every caution. I get it. <laughs> Brother, I love you to death, but that could have been the death of us. Yeah, I'm not joking. Yeah, we would have been fine. <laughs> no, we would not be fine. That tag back could kill the tiger that has been out there. Mm. No. This is not go, for you, I, so, no. I'm, I'm going to actually step, close the door as I get into the room now, and I uh, go, all right. <sighs> what do you want? What time is it? Well, have I been there? Huh? It's getting late. Uh, you look out your window that you have? It's just white. It, it is a black sky. Oh, I can see the sky? The snow's not piled up in it. <laughs> Yay. Well, you're kind of on the second floor. I know, but that doesn't stop snow from piling. Uh, it is starting to pile out on your windowsill, however. Uh, you do see the clouds are very heavy with snow. The blizzard is still eating the actual heck out of your poor window, but your window is staying strong. Like, it is very sturdy. Oh, um, I guess it's bedtime. I lost track of time. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I came here for, because I knew, I figured you'd probably be awake. Yeah, 
Apparently, I stayed up too late again. All I'll right, get on to bed. Uh, as you go to bed, um, uh, ghosts with that same perception, you have the sense you're being watched again. Here. You look and everywhere. That room is outside, isn't it? Outside. Over there. Well, actually, a uh, Fry Hugo comes up to you and he was like, "Oh, hello. I understand that you're staying in the storage shed, but tonight you'll be sleeping in the kitchens." See, as my character just like feels more at ease of that information. Be oh, fair, and, not the um, I'm more worried about out there. Oh, I, I know that thing has been watching you for quite some time. He just points behind you. I look. You turn around. The chicken is inches away from your own face. What? It's still. <laughs> <laughs> I slowly reach over to who? Who's who? The hell is talking to me? <laughs> it's Fry Hugo. <laughs> I first slowly reach over to Fry Hugo. Clench, clench at him. <laughs> My arm's shaking. I'm too stunned to speak. <laughs> you're just, you're just like, and here's like, here's like, oh. There's one solid way of getting him off your back. Look, seed! Son, you just see Nugget go turn his head to the side and bolt. Sorry, Hugo didn't even point in a direction. He just bolts in a direction. I'll keep him busy for the rest of the night. Thank you. That is no ordinary chicken. Yeah, he's 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 a little um injured in noggin. All right. Well, yeah, uh, Friar Hugo actually uh, gives you a blanket and a very uh, thick straw pillow. He was like, you can join us next to the furnace tonight. We'll keep you nice and warm. I thanks. Oh, yes, no worries. And bonus, the kitchen has locks on it. For some reason, I don't feel that. He's going to stop that. it. <laughs> I mean, if you bear um, the door, he's not getting through. <laughs> Events uh, as you calmly put your sister to bed. Uh, she's very reluctant at first to go to bed. I can't go to bed. I'm just showing him out of my room. <laughs> okay. I'm not a child. That's really Thank up you to very you. much. Okay, then. Sunflower. You go to sleep. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing really happens during your sleep. It's very sound, calm sleep. Uh, Vince, you make your way towards your temporary quarters and you close the door behind you. Vince, I need another perception check from you. Okay. Actually, you'll have advantage because this is based on hearing. Okay, I'll roll one more time. Perception. Ooh, modify 20. Uh, you abruptly hear <laughs> outside of your um, window. I look to see what the heck it is. You look outside your window. Right now, you don't really have a candle lit or anything, but you do see all of a sudden you just see something press against the fallen snow. Paw. Mm. I'm going to switch over here so I can actually show you guys. Vince, <sighs> to be fair, your room is right over here. And outside of your room, can I get a nature check? Does he have dark vision? All right. Yes, I do have dark vision. But it only goes out so far, mind you. Within 60 feet. Mm. And nature check? I'm getting it. Okay. Just had to make sure. Ooh. Ooh. That one? Um, no. Oh, no, no. That's a four. No, no. Okay. Uh, to be fair, you guys were like. To be fair, you've seen something like this before, so I'll give you advantage. Advantage. All right, one more try. He definitely has. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. You. You. What happened? What happened? You just. You just think. All of a sudden, that is way too fucking big to be who you think it is. Mutikita. You see a giant paw and a gigantic tiger prowling the ground. Huge tiger. It is way too fucking big to be Mudikira. It has like almost a mane going down its backside. It's so large. That's a big kitty. And I get a history check. All right, open up my character again. Oh, history, where are you? There is. <laughs> when did this turn into a horror game? <laughs> 16. Okay, so you know that this, this creature is... Same. This creature is known as the mate. 
of Mutikira, a gargantuan-sized tiger known as Lodakar, which is actually fox speech. Ooh. It is known as the guardian of moss flower. Ah. That doesn't mean a good thing either. We are all going to die. <laughs> Sorry. Well, and you just see it glowing eye in the dark. It's just so big. Green. It's just looking into the second story. So yes. <laughs> Slowly goes by your window, and you see for a second it looks directly at you, and seeing your blood freezes in your veins. <laughs> resistant to fear. <laughs> May be resistant, but it's still pretty damn intimidating. Okay, that works. So, I may have used the same thing for Lodakar as Mutikira, as I have no room, I think. But anyway, um, it is gigantic. And you see, that it looks like it's looking for Spicular. And all of a sudden, you see something catch its eye. And you just see it one paw barely come up from from the from the snow, and you barely see it move forward. And you see its claws are wrapped around a creature. You see a chicken. Oh no! It is not Nugget. Oh! You see it grab chicken and gently put it. You see it push open one of the windows with its other paw and put it inside. Eh. And it calmly gets back on its hindquarters and. And you feel as if it's looking at you, directly at you. And it's looking into your eyes and you just feel like it's saying, Why is that one nice and the other one wants to eat people? <laughs> I want my bunny mama. <laughs> you see, it's very, it's acting odd. For this size of giant creature, you see it notice something else. Distance, you don't see the paw this time. All of a sudden, you just see it hunker down for a couple of seconds. See its giant tail just twitching back and forth. And all of a sudden, leaps. And you just hear, <sighs> as you just see in its teeth, bloody and just, just dripping with entrails and blood and or what looks to be a a ferret who is trying to climb the wall with one giant <laughs> you just hear <a> sickening <laughs> ah. <laughs> Opalis huh? you come to yeah. your room in the infirmary and the divins are currently in one corner trembling with fear. You look outside and you just see the gigantic cat who is literally stu two stories tall hunting. Children, get behind me. Make your way to the hall and find Constance. Constance is already in the room. Fuck. <laughs> you see, she is brandishing. She is dual wielding cast iron skillets. Most effective weapon in Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> and in most movies. <laughs> and Name videos. is not Mittens, the big white cat. <laughs> <laughs> you see it turn as it hears your barely whispered voice. And it just looks at you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Paul. God damn it. This is why you should go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> Sunflower is just having nice dreams. She's she's literally just minding her own business in in her dream. Just she has you know, just yet eating. To meet Mister Nugget yet during this whole entire time. I know it was just crazy. Honestly, no, you didn't do it yet. Damn it, hun! Can you please roll me for me? Dice. <gasps> I never thought you would ask me to do this. Me neither. But apparently, my rolls are bad. Do you think kiss is any better? I have rolled throw. three to four nat twenties in a row, in, in a row, woman. Well, thank you for calling me a woman. Sorry, but it can't get any worse than rolling four nat twenties in a row unless it's rolling five. That <laughs> one, you got an eleven. So, uh, with this, you are frozen in terror with the shining greenish red eyes of this gigantic hulking 
hat as it slowly like looks at you starts walking since you notice its paws starting to go away and you see it you'll see it climb the wall you mean step Look over at it. both of you no actually the walls would require him to like place his paws on it and like jump over it okay Walls are actually very tall. And you just see it look at you both one last time. And then it proceeds to exit. As you hear screams, rats running in terror. Well, I'm going to go to the other room. I don't go, anybody else see that? <laughs> you go, you go, you travel to the next room, which is the infirmary. You see some very terrified Dippins. And a very terrified, uh... Oh, Paulus. And <laughs> I will shove my bunny foot up your ass. Don't start with me. <laughs> Everybody's shit. But my character just goes, did anybody else see that? No shit, Fox. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not going crazy. Ooh, you curse in front of the Dippins. The Dippins <sighs> have fainted from the stress. As soon as the thing left, they are out. <laughs> my character goes, that was, uh, what was his name again? Sorry. That was Lodakar. Lodakar. That was apparently Lodakar. Thank you. <laughs> Constance, watch over the Dippin. That was the mate of Vince, uh, Mutinkira. Grab every Vince, grab everyone. We need to head out. Why? Do you not hear the screams? I can, and I'm a lop eared rabbit. Need to make sure everyone's okay. Well, it's outside the wall, meaning that it's probably uh, the you other. You do know that the only rats outside of the walls are Cheese Thieves men. Yeah, oh, I go, like, there's so much shit going on out there. How are those guys still alive? Well, there's only a few of well, them. Well, I'm left. currently making attack rolls for Lodakar, and it's not looking good for his numbers currently. <laughs> good. I go, so by who, the way, who's winning? Who's apparently winning? Apparently the Guardian, what I remember. Who's winning? Currently Lodakar. He is massacring these guys. Good. Yeah, I, I believe Clooney's the only threat to any <laughs> freaking. No. I am. When when Lodakar, a uh, uh, little spoiler warning. When Lodakar and Mudikira are in are in bloodlust mode, their their attacks improve by uh, times two. Dating mm. frenzy. This right, we're just missing a blood moon. Uh, Actually, you do see one through the clouds. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I was going to say uh, it, it's probably going to get covered up by the morning the from first. the blizzard, which those All rats right, probably moon. don't have blizzard warnings. <laughs> I go, uh, I go into the cafeteria anyways to make sure everyone's okay. I try not to make a panic, but I'm kind of panicking. It's kind of showing. Uh. Yeah. Uh, By the way, he saved the chicken from outside, so... Nugget was outside? No, it wasn't Nugget. At least I don't think it was Nugget. Uh, you see, there is an unfamiliar chicken donned in what looks to be entirely metal armor. That's right. Just standing in the kitchen. Hey. I'm not going to do it tonight. <laughs> Can you handle it? <laughs> He's going back to bed. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Paulus, you go back to bed. Vince, what are you doing? I'm investigating the chicken man. Well, actually, you see it's a hen. Oh, I investigate the, the, the female chicken then? You get very close to it and you hear, can I help you? Oh, you're alive. Oh, you might have been like frozen to death or something. No, the guardian of the forest helped me. I, I could tell. I was trying to get in Red Wall, but unfortunately, all the doors were closed. Uh, yeah, that happens, especially since, you know, Blizzard. We were all in here, so yeah. Sorry about that. It is fine. I am only here for one reason. I need your help. I help. Yes, really? I'm currently looking for someone. My name is Chickadee, and I'm currently looking for one of the members of our family, a very large family, who unfortunately met with a terrible accident, and he has become a little bit messed up in the head. Uh, and he got nugget. lost. Yes. Nugget. He's somewhere in here. I don't know where, but somewhere. Holy moly, what a hen. <laughs> Mom, I want a chocobo. Don't worry, son. We have a chocobo at home. Dude, I would love to. Yeah. Oh, now it's happening. No, <laughs> not this game. No, no, not this game. I'm just thinking of other games I can put chocobos in. <laughs> Just, he gave me an idea. Like, I must know. make it happen. I mean, if you think about it, Chocobo would be kind of the right size if you think about it for this game. 
What is know, yeah. a chocobo? It, it's it's a large, rideable yellow bird from Final Fantasy. What a chocobo is. He's never played Final Fantasy. I played Final Fantasy Eight. They didn't have birds. They had fucking cars, okay? That is true. Actually, they did have... Uh, they did uh, well, have yeah, they did have chocobos. Oh, those giant mean. yellow birds? I haven't played the game since I was 12, so it's kind of... Oh, yeah, you might have forgot. I will send you a picture of a chocobo on Discord later. Thank you. No oh, problem. And then you'll say, oh, it's cute. Anyway. Birds. Anyway. <clears throat> yes, unfortunately, we need. I need to get back where he belongs because, unfortunately, he he has been been really off lately. He thinks he. Uh, this is going to be very awkward to explain. Uh, he thinks he's a ferret. Yeah, whenever we call out <laughs> seed, he goes after seed. Okay, part of his personality is coming back. That's at least good news. So it's uh, you just have to call out seed, and he just runs after. It. Does it, you don't even have to point. He just goes in a direction. Uh, oh, no. But he is here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but. Uh, you look around and uh, around the cafeteria and you just see all of a sudden out of the corner of your eye, you just see a blur of motion. And then you just see Nugget is just standing in front of the two doors leading to the to the ki- to the kitchen as if waiting. Hey, Nugget. Someone's here, to get you. Someone's here to get you. So I recommend you wait out the storm before you leave. Delicious chicken. Delicious chicken. Walks up to her, start pecking her on the head. Then all of a sudden you just see see the ch- uh, the chick, uh, the hen gently take one of her feathers. You see what looks to be an object of some sort. And then she bashes him over the head and then he falls unconscious. Oh, good. Now we ain't got to worry about him ro- roaming around a lo- for a little while. I'll be taking this in the morning. Understood. <laughs> He's been well, kind that of is, <laughs> Well, that is if he does wake up. It kind of hit him a little bit hard with this. And she's, you see, she has this little ouch that has some kind of greenish powder in it. Hmm. What's that you got there? A sleeping poultice. Nightshade, elderberries, and then you mix in some elder moss, and then you got a sleeping poultice. Well, it seems you more like knocked them out with it, literally. Well, actually, the, the pouch itself is very fragile. As you see, um, there's a little tear on it. You just see his head is just covered in this very fine powder. It didn't hit him very hard. It just knocks him out almost instantly. Ah, I got you. You just need to hit the person upside the head with it. Be effective. (laughs) All right. That's good to know. Mm. Well, I'll watch over this person, so you don't have to worry about anything more incurring. All right. Well, I'm going to go head off the bed. Okay, you do. And make your usual checks to see whether or not you can actually sleep. All right, here we go. Just a straight 1d20 roll. Let's go. Oh, Paulus. Hi. Yes. So you go to sleep and you start having a dream. God damn, damn. it, Justin. What? It's, it's a very strange dream, mind you. You're seeing odd things. You see yourself. You see your paws and your feet. But you're much closer to the ground. Smaller. Um... You're currently in Edo, some sort, just frolicking around, and you look back and you see two figures sitting in the meadow, both lop-eared bunny rabbits, one male, one female, a lot older than you in this current state, but you can't see their face. You see that you are currently having some sort of picnic, and it's a very lovely dream starts out. And literal clowns come over, start turning this dream into more of a nightmare. As you see shadows of very spindly kind of legs or arms, you can't really tell the difference. You can't tell what kind of limb it is, but it reaches for your parents, snatches them away, and well, you assume them to be your parents because that's the only explanation you have. And then all of a sudden your vision goes black as something hits you over the head. You wake up in an unfamiliar location, not physically, you're still in the dream, as you see a small person, a, a small rodent, roughly the same age as you, but a little bit older. Oh, hello there. Are you all right? I really speak yeah, in this. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> where where am I? 
Oh, oh, um, well, um, you're currently on my family's land. Um, it's no worries. Uh, you seem to have quite the pump on, on, on your head. So let's get you looked at, shall we? Uh, you look up at the uh, young, young rodent. Um, looks to be, he cuts quite the handsome figure. But you can't see his face. Like, you see that, you see his, like, torso, his limbs, but you can't quite tell what kind of creature he is. For some odd reason, your dream is not allowing you to figure out what it is. As he leads you to a very big house, he kind of leads you to the kitchen area. You see um, two ladies currently cooking a meal, and he gently sits you down. Brushes you off, ends to your wound, bandages you up, smiles. All you see is the teeth, and I get a nature check. Okay, give me a bit. <clears throat> my phone is... Yeah, okay. Vince, Who wants to Vince. make a bit that I'm going to get a natural <laughs> one again? Vince, say nothing. Vince, say nothing. I, that's what I was doing. I'm like, I figured it out. I'm pretty sure we all have. Also, I apologize if you guys hear anything in the background. The other residents here are very, very... Loud. So it's a nature check, right? Yep. Did I do it? Yes. You did it twice. Actually, Sorry. I did it for her because uh, I thought she still needed help. So I'll count hers instead. You realize that you're, um, as you are trying your best to figure out who or what this is, your vision clears somewhat and you're able to see a face. As you see two shining emerald green eyes. A very protruding nose, two ears. You see what looks to be a rat. Oh no! Boy. By the way, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Christopher. What's your name? Um, Opalis, I think. Opalis. Well, you're currently on my family's land. We will try to get you back to Moss Flowerwood, but we can't promise it will be immediate. But you will be my personal guest until then. Let's be okay. good friends on the, in the meantime. Yeah, um, what smells flower wood? Oh, no, you have a major. Oh, that's not good. Moss flower wood is where your rabbit kind comes from. Technically, this place is for vermin folk like me. Um, I'm a rat. You see all the, sir, uh, all the people here, that's a rat. That's a ferret. It's a stoat and just points all over. That's my mother. Uh, you see a um, beautiful, beautiful art. That's my father. And you see what looks to be a much smaller rat. I get oh, yeah. Thank you for letting me stay here. Oh, there's no need, child, to be so formal. You're injured. It's the least we can do. We may not have much right now because of this civil war brewing, but we will provide what we can. Yes, and yeah. don't you don't you worry, uh, Miss Apollos. I will try my best to be gentlemanly. I will provide you with my own room, and I will sleep on. The oh no, 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 I can't let you do that. I insist. The least you need your bed rest, and your dream fades as the morning comes, and that's where we're going in tonight's session. Okay, Mama. I figured it out. <laughs> well, yeah, of course it was him. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. I just I right. You are full a, of I, shit. I introduced a rat character named Christopher. That's all I said. Uh huh. Right. I don't know what you guys are on about. I have honestly sure. no idea. <laughs> But I bet you guys are happy not to see Nugget again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. By the way. Um. Congratulations. Uh, because of the appearance of the mate and because she got part of her memory back, you guys have been doing so well. You level up to level six.